your calls here, Eric in Hanford, California. Hey, Eric, what's on your mind today? But I've, I've got this, like, you know, nagging feeling about, you know, we know that Donald Trump took these uh, top secret documents with him as he left the White House. He winds up in the summer of 2021 sharing them with journalists, and we don't know who else. But then in October of 2021, we start to have CIA informants go missing and be murdered. That's correct. And I haven't heard a whole lot about this connection, but I feel like um, uh, I, I don't, I'm just interested in your take on this on that topic. Yeah, I've written about this three times uh, at HartmanReport.com. It's always been, you know, in the context of a larger story about Trump and corruption and and uh, Russia and everything. But you're absolutely right. Um, what the the other big event that preceded that was in the final months of uh, 2020 when Trump was still president. He asked, uh, I believe it was John Ratcliffe, his director of national security, for a complete list of all of America's spies, all the people who are on America's payroll, even if they're not full-time employees, even if they're like agents who are paid, like contractor spies. And he wanted to know who they were and where they were, where, where they were posted to. And, uh, you know, that's the list that I'm guessing he conveyed to Mohammed bin Salman and uh, Vladimir Putin in exchange for all the support that he's been getting from Russia via, you know, social media and, and uh, you know, uh, 29 million uh, specific Facebook posts and advertisements and things and all that sort of stuff. Um, and, 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 you know, with Mohammed bin Salman, he, you know, his, his son-in-law gets $2 billion and we don't know how much money Trump has been given from the Live Golf Tour, but I'm guessing it's hundreds of millions. I mean, they offered Tiger Woods $900 million um, that was to play in the tournament. Trump was hosting the tournament. So, um, but yeah, the, the, the CIA said uh, in October of 2021, as I recall, that uh, they, in fact they they went public with it that CIA agents around the world are being killed, and they had and they didn't know why, and they didn't expect it, and it was a fairly sudden uh, event. I th I think that Donald Trump sold us out, and and I was frankly expecting that to be part of. Jack Smith's indictment, I, I, or hoping that it would be part of Jack Smith's indictment, because it seems to me that this is a really big deal, and it's something that we've all been just kind of ignoring. I mean, the CIA, spent, they, they went to the length, they went so far as to send out a special cable, a special message to all, everybody, to all their spies in the field saying, look out, the, you know, the, the, I, our, our, our intelligence officers and agents are being killed left and right. So what say you, Eric? What do you think? Yeah, it's it's just struck me as odd, and I like you. I thought I thought maybe this was going to be a part of the um, indictments and and some of the evidence that was brought against him, but it it wasn't. And maybe it's because it's that top secret and not classified. But yeah, it uh, could be. It just is too coincidental. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to not be. Yeah. No, I'm yeah, I'm completely you. with you. Yeah, Eric. Thanks a lot for the call. Uh, it, time will tell, uh, but. This is something, Seth Abramson's done some good research on this stuff, too. I mean, there's a few people who have been really digging deep into, into the Trump crime family. Um, but this, this one has always troubled me, which is why I keep sticking it into articles about Trump and Jared and whatnot. It's 20 minutes past the hour. We'll be back with you in 60 seconds.